As a nationwide disability attorney, I read cases across the United States and I like to share with you what I've learned. An interesting case recently was the case of Mr. Penguin, who was employed as a business development director in Colorado. Unfortunately, he contracted encephalitis from a mosquito who had been infected by the West Nile virus. As a result, he had brain damage and cognitive difficulties for which he was paid for both short and long-term disability benefits. In fact, he was paid for over 11 years. Prudential then decided they didn't want to pay benefits anymore and they had him undergo an independent neuropsychological testing and an evaluation. And of course, the liar for hire doctor concluded that there wasn't any valid evidence of a continuing impairment that would prevent Mr. Penguin from performing the duties of his regular occupation. That IME was nothing more than a claim setup, and as a result, his claim was denied. He submitted two unsuccessful appeals to Prudential before he sued in federal court. Now, what's interesting about this case is that uh, the judge saw through Prudential's sham denial and their use of a liar for hire peer review doctor, IME doctor. The court found that the medical evidence overwhelmingly supported the conclusion that his cognitive ailments were not only permanent, but disabling. And they noted that over 16 medical professionals, including one from Prudential, all supported disability, while the three Prudential doctors said he wasn't disabled. The judge noted that the claim had been regularly reviewed by the claims department. The claims manager had noted that the cognitive issues were not likely to improve and that there was really no gainful employment options for him based on the medical and vocational evidence in Prudential's record. The court said, we're not going to rubber stamp this and they awarded back benefits telling Prudential to reinstate his claim. So what are the lessons that are learned in a case like this? is that disability carriers will go to any lengths to deny a claim, including one that's been on claim for a long, long time. And one of the ways they do that is to use either liar for hire peer review doctors who do paper reviews or to use liar for hire IMB providers who will give the disability carrier the ammunition which they need to deny the claim. If your claim has been denied, you need to call nationwide attorney Nancy Cavey. I look forward to helping you get the disability benefits you deserve regardless of where you live in the United States. We'll take on the carrier's game.